What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Mark and Will Show. Of course, you got your favorite two hosts of the most, Mark and Will. What's going on, my brother? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, see, he got that back again. Yeah, don't yes, sir. Cowboy. I got to do something, man. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go ahead and jump into last night's game. Denver Nuggets and Utah Jazz. Denver end up pulling it off 80 to 78. And last night we was watching the game after we got off air or whatever. And it was a lot of great points my brother was talking about. We was going back and forth. Why do why did Donovan it seem like he waited to the fourth quarter to try to turn it on? Yeah, that that's to me, man, that, and that's the whole thing. It seemed like, you know, that, and the thing about it is, I, I, I think since the first game when he really had an explosion, all that stuff, mm-hmm. he's been like waiting, waiting, then he attack and attack in the second half and did the same thing. But you know what? The, the crazy thing is that we got on him and he almost pulled it off. Yes, he, he almost did. Pulled off. Yes, he did. But if you watch that game, the, both teams was dead tired, man. <laughs> I mean, 80 to 78? 80 to 78. That thing is going 120, 100. 56, no, 200 yeah. points. <laughs> and then you got to look at it, man. When you go back on that score, Donovan had 22 on 22 uh, shots attempt. Uh, Mary had 17. He was like four for 17, 18. Right. Man, hey, as much as I, w- I would love to say the defense really came home on it, man, let, let, let's keep it real. These dudes actually played six prior to the game seven, six playoff games at a high intensity. So yes, the, the two stars were spent. I mean, Joker had I think like thirty. Joker had thirty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mary had seventeen. Yeah, but look at I me. Mean, shot attempts it took him to make it. Like, yeah, yeah he was yeah, spent, man. He was spent. Yeah. As much I would love to give Quinn Snyder uh, the credit for. Changing his defense up, dude, dude was tired. Dude mm-hmm. was spent. and then you can see like, dude broke down like three or four times. So he was emotionally spent too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nah, man, I ain't give me that credit, Quinn. I can't do yeah, that. Mitchell only had 22, and he was two for eight from the three ball. Yeah, he only had like. Um, he was at the free throw line just twice. But he only had like uh, <laughs> seven. I think it was like. Uh, what, seven, eight points at halftime? Yep. Something like that. Yep. So, yep. yeah, yep. He, just, yep. he, say, he tried to save that juice. Dude ran out. He started turning the ball over at the end. They, I mean, it was sloppy play on both at the end. I mean, yes. they came yes. back because they would, y'all remember, they was getting beat beat down. Yeah. We're talking about like yeah. about 78, whatever. I mean, they came back. But when you look at that, man, they was, just, they was tired. And then, as much as we want to say, like, I ain't going to say much, we, what we have been saying. Utah, as far as help, man, you got to look at this. Gobert, hey, he, I give you credit, Gobert, because he had 19 and 18. Yeah. You know, but then when you go down the line, Clarkson, he had 10, which off the bench, cool. But he was averaging about 18 points his damn self. So almost across the board, people was like, except for Rudy Gobert, like eight points and nine points difference from right, the right. regular, you know, scoring. I mean, O'Neal, five. Conley, he didn't even show up. He had eight mm-hmm. points, two for three. I mean, this whole game, basically two teams that was spent. And and, and the Joker, 30 and 14, man, he, he, put, moves, <laughs> he, he put moves on Rudy Gobert like any little thing, man. And then let's talk about the real big thing. If you watch the game, when uh, Murray uh, got, you know, when Donovan turned the ball over yep. and Murray kicked it to Craig and he missed the layup, all you got to do is pull it out. Missed the layup and gave them a chance. <laughs> and the crazy chance. thing is, it was like three or four seconds left, and he threw it to Conley. If Conley would have whipped Donovan, was wide open. Yep, yep. Wide open. Yep. Conley yep. threw up some more uh, bullshit boomerang shot. And don't get me wrong, it, it was in. No, it was spun out, but come on, dog. You ain't, you ain't like that, dog. You ain't like that. But, hey, shout out to Donovan, man. You yes, know, I yeah, big wanna, shout out. He broke the record, man. He had the most points in the first round playoff series. Yep. 254 points. Yep. He had the more, most three pointers made in a playoff series, period. 33. Mm-hmm. And of course, he's one of five players who had uh, scored two uh, 50 balls. Hey, shout out to you. And also, let's Great keep job. it real. They already, I know we already talked about this. You know, I got the laid back chill on this one. We're, <laughs> hey. <sighs> 
He talking about sign an extension. What you think that bro about that bro? Big, <laughs> big, big bank though. Big bank. You, you know he gonna get played. Big bank. What mm. you think about that man? If uh, it's what what was it? It was uh. What what I saw. It was 170, but it could be like 185. Like, you know what I'm saying? You said. Well, the thing about it is, I think it was like 170, 165, because I think, like, when you do the math, it came out to be like about $31 million a year, year. so to speak. I mean, me personally, I will stay in Utah if you go and give me some help. If you give me help, I'm staying. But you know what? You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is this you're right. But on the extension, you don't know what's coming. You don't like, know what's coming. That. That's you don't October. know what's coming, but that's in October. Come on, let's come on, people. We got we need to talk. Because check this out. When this bubble shit finally ends, October be here. Right. Okay. <laughs> and you made a good point before we came on air. I want y'all to uh comment down below what y'all think about him going to New York. Basically, I was talking about I wouldn't be surprised not saying that that's going to happen. And I think we talked right, about this yeah. before. And really, I can see more of after his first big contract, you know what I'm saying, or even do like a LeBron thing, a James type thing, like even after his second, dude ain't number 23. 23. So we talking about he can have two more contracts, then all mm-hmm. of a sudden I want to go home. Yep. I'm not saying go home after this shit because ain't nobody, ain't nothing in New York. Hell, go to Dallas. Go to Miami. Go to Dallas. Go to the East. Go to Dallas. Go that's to because, the uh, well, East. That's because the Lakers fans go down to him. No, it ain't even that. You know what I'm saying? The West is, come on, now. You know Luka, the though, is. you wouldn't want to play. If I'm him, because LeBron be gone by then. Look, yeah, yeah, he <laughs> done. Be he done. Yeah, he done. He done. And then we already know. Hold on. AD going to be acting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Special three. Shit. But, uh. <laughs> I think he should. I think he should go to the East only because it's down there. Like it's an easy path. But then hold on. But the thing. The about West is, is the, the West is crazy. But if but you gotta think. Say five to six years from now, Luke will still be balling. I right, cause he's only twenty one. <laughs> yes. Porzingis, if he's not hurt, will still be there. Porzingis won't be there. Well, I'm just saying if he's not hurt. <laughs> but I'm saying Luca gonna be balling. He's gonna be young. Him and Luca together. <sighs> oh come on, man. And he can just sit back and just feel. He would be like buckets. He ain't got to worry about pounding the ball like he has to do because Conley yeah. was hurt uh, out of the bubble. I mean, child birth, he, good. congratulations, Conley. So I respect that. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, like, he has to run point. He has to do so much. And then right. he takes pride on trying to be a defender. Mm-hmm. So that takes another energy, dude. Why not play with – and that's the whole thing with Utah. That goes back to what we was talking about. Like, what is Utah going to bring? Who's going to Utah, dude? I mean, what besides, I, you know what? We said this, I think, about last week. Remember when, uh, and I think it was on air, but I was talking about uh, Paul Millsap. Yeah. Like how yeah. much money? How much he's getting. Well, I yeah. know how much money Dude has made. And he, like, he's been in the league, I think it was, Dude been in the league. He's been in league for a while. 10 years, something that, that years. Dog has already made 185 mil. Dude, he makes 30-something mil this year. Mm. Let me look up mil sap real quick mm. on mm. this mm. game. Two points. Dude makes 30-something million dollars a year. He was the highest-paid player on the court yesterday. Dude played 14 minutes, two points. That's See crazy. what I'm saying? Yeah, I See what I'm saying? Because you was good in Atlanta. Uh, yeah, all that shit, or whatever you did, or whatever you did. Yeah. yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. He, he was a free agent. He came out of Louisiana Tech. Hey, another Carl Malone type stuff. <laughs> but, dude makes 30 something mid, two points. Now, you don't have to give me some of that check back. I need all of it back. Two points, though. I need all of it. Back. Then, then I'm going to release it. Is that registered to you? Is that like hitting <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, like, I, I, I got to release it. I, I, I gave you 31 and you gave me two points. Are you serious? Are you serious? Nah, and I mean, I'm, I'm from a distance today, he got but I, I got to come. Two points. Do that two points. Um, and yeah. 37 million. So for, for each point, dog, for each point he had, for each point, he, for each point, my, my dog had 15 million per point. 
You gave that dude 50 million plus change for a point. For a point. Dog, stop it. Stop it. Oh, man. Still shout out to you, Donovan. You had a good year, brother. Hey. Hey, you had way a to good represent, year. brother. You had a good year, way man. To represent, dog. Today's games is going on, actually. We got a game going on now, which is 75-64. Miami's way against the Bucks. Like he said yesterday, I was itching to go on Miami's side. I think, I think truly, I just got done caught him. I'm with Miami. And I'm going to go ahead and say this. What you going to say, bro? I'm going to say this, bro. If Miami wins this, mm. it will be a sweep. Ooh, I'm not giving cool. Milwaukee a chance to win. Dang. If Miami wins tonight, it will be a sweep. Ooh. Ooh, we. Bring the broom out. Ooh, we. You know what? Hey. I think Miami will win. I don't know if it's sweet. I'll, I'll go give it yeah. a sweet. You know what? Let's put it this way. Because that person who feel, this song was a dog. I feel, I feel <laughs> more, I feel better. I feel better with saying that I believe Celtics will sweep Raptors than I with this one. Just because, let's, let's, let's put it this way. Hey, guys, do y'all remember what Toronto used to do before Kawhi Leonard was on the team? They used to get their ass whooped. Mm -hmm. They used to they used to have the best overall records and all kinds of shit, and they get in the playoff, mm -hmm. and they have some people have uh, breakdowns all over the place, right. and the Rosen and them couldn't hit a jumper to save their life, mm -hmm. and they used to get embarrassed. Yeah. And guess what, guys? I know. I'm, look, let me tell you something. Kawhi ain't on team. Kawhi is with the Clippers. Yes. And we're seeing exactly the same thing. I would not be surprised if they, like, like, don't get me wrong, it could be both of them get swept. But I truly <laughs> believe, because, hey, this is the same Toronto Raptors team that was before Kawhi. Kawhi, hey, they rented him for a year. Mm -hmm. They got the championship. They got that chip. What? Same shit happening. Same shit happening. Dude, go. Cool, Miami. But, hey, but you know what? The thing about it is, it's kind of like how we uh, spoke on this. Like, I would say, look, the, the crazy thing is, is that Milwaukee's not no, they, they some veterans, dude. They've been, I mean, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. What I'm saying is, it's surprising mm -hmm. that, like, I, I, I'm not surprised that they will lose a series, but, dude, you can at least come and play, man. I mean, like, I thought it'd be tougher. I'm not surprised Miami's going to beat them because I'm not a, you know, a Milwaukee fan. Right. Uh, I don't believe in all that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Greek freak pounding the ball, get your ass on the block. He shoots too many threes for me, you know what I'm saying? And then, it, but hold on, Lopez and him both they shoot, shoot threes. more threes than anything. Did don't anybody on the team hit some and all this? But dude, yeah, there's not a lot of big men in the league. Get your asses down there and get in ones, man. Cause they just want to say they shot a three that game. Well, yeah, and we said what was going down. Everybody's doing that European play. Yeah. You know, not everybody's Luka Dawkins, dude. Not everybody, even Pozingas hit threes. You know what right. I'm saying? But Pozingas go down there and dump on your ass, too. And the last even ain't Dirk. Oh, well, you know what? That's a different <laughs> level of the game, baby. <laughs> different, different game. Because you got to think, back in the day, it used to be like, when, when cats used to come in the league, man, power forwards and things like that, mm -hmm. they was back to the, but as they got older, and, and, and peak game, as they got older, 10 years, 11 years, 12 years, they started developing their jumpers. You know, the mid range was wet, the three pointer. Kevin Garnett, man, was three shooting threes out of his ass. So by the time he left uh, Boston and everything, for <laughs> yeah. real. And he yeah, was always man. a back, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, dude, it, it's just the whole stuff, man. You see all these centers. Uh, uh, Sam Perkins, that's for you old heads. Sam Perkins, man, used to get silly with it on the post. <laughs> left handed, do whatever. Man, by the time he exit left out of uh, Seattle, dude, left hand shooting three points left and right. But that's, they started on the ground, and they're like, hold on, man, this shit, I'm trying to stay a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Let me develop my, it's about developing that game, and I'm yep. not trying to bang all that like I, I can, I can shoot this shit too. Right. So we saw the whole change of the whole thing, but dude, you got two, you got a seven footer and a six eleven dude shooting threes. And what they do basically was Miami is doing like this building a walk and said building a wall. Yeah. You're not coming in here, uh, doing, doing no little that. layups. You're gonna have to shoot your little three, little jumpers. I yep. mean, hell, it's four for twelve from a free throw the other night. Exactly. That's not that's not gonna do it, man. And hey, 
and then y'all guard play is suspect. I always used to tease, I tease uh, Mark about that shit. Y'all go, y'all shit for real, cause uh, Eric, uh, bless us, you boy said Randolph. <laughs> Randolph, yeah. <laughs> Dude ain't been the same since he uh, left for uh, uh, Alabama or wherever he came from. But somebody else took his test. <laughs> oh my god! To the other game. <laughs> I think that's what the rumor. Okay, see. Shit. Houston Rockets game seven. Uh, I'm gonna say this. You already brother. said it. Gone. Let's go OKC. Uh, you already said you're cheering for that. I'm going for the underdog. He's going for the underdog for a different whole reason. going for the underdog. Well, no, it's not. It for ain't got nothing to do with reason. that. It's about the Lake Show. No, it's, it's not. Lake Show. That's okay. I mean, no. oh, my goodness. They I mean, I don't blame people. Just, I don't, no, I don't blame you. I mean, hell, yeah, but, you know, when you're yeah, going to have to play somebody the next round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to play. Yeah, I'm going to play somebody the next round. What do you think about this game, brother? Hey, you know what? The thing about it is, is that, uh, <laughs> hey, Chris Paul, man, until until they stop Chris Paul from controlling the game, I would not be mad, man. I right. would not be mad. I would be happy in the moment just to see that for real. Because Chris Paul, and I and I didn't uh, post that uh, pay, that uh, picture like I was. I am going to do that. Dude, he's he's mad as hell. So, hey. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, he and is. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. And which Westbrook, you know, Westbrook, what, Westbrook what they gonna, gonna do, and, and the bird and all that shit, and is PJ Tucker, your your five foot seven uh, power forward? No, I mean, what, six about, foot four. He's power worried about four. his shoes. What you saying? He's worried about his shoes. Yeah, and he got he got a ton of them, but he he gonna be able to dust them off when they sit down <laughs> the boat. Right. And even if it ain't this Fishing. round, the next round, because y'all coach they said is already looking for another job. He's already rumored for other jobs. Now come on, when you when that. Dude, I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. We all know people start rumors all the time and say shit. Yes, they do. But, dude, this has been a continual thing, man. They are saying, oh, boy, lining up for the uh, Pacers job. Yep. Okay. But my thing is this. NBA, NFL, you know, they are notorious for this. They keep the same coaches in the same damn loop. And then you wonder why you ain't got a lot of minority coaches and different stuff. Exactly. And the one minorities you got, y'all keep them rolling in the same shit. Yep. Nate, Nate them big coached for, for back to 20 teams. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, Mark Jackson, y'all got rid of his ass. Hell, he was rolling tough. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, dude. Like, it's the same group. Mm-hmm. And that's how the NFL is. That same group. Man, come on, make it. It's some other cats. And, I, and, I, and I'm going to say this. Let me back this up, though. Because one thing the NFL does, they'll go ahead and do assistant coach and, yeah. and promote you. Yeah, yeah. NBA, man, peep game. If y'all go ahead and do it, like, if you can do a, a, a list of the last, the coaches the past 10 years, I bet you there's only about two or three difference. They just rotate yeah. them. Yeah, you right about that. <laughs> That's bullshit, man. You right Give about other that cats some try, man. I mean, Damn. We know Jason Kidd was in there, and he had, he had a big ass son, head son up there. Yeah, and everybody want to see him no more with the Nets and shit. I'm glad you brought up coaches because they going crazy about Pop selling, putting his house on the market. Oh, in, yeah? in San Antonio because uh, the Brooklyn Nets really want some. You think he goes to Brooklyn oh, the, to where he be with KD and Kyrie? Uh, you know what? If he does, I don't blame you. <laughs> For real, go on to chase them rings, dog. For real, like he should be able, like Phil. Uh, Phil chased them rings yes, too. He yes, he did. He Come was, on, dude. So I don't, I don't blame. Hey, hey, Pop. Hey, I love to watch Pop. Uh, Manoli, I know that's your team, San Antonio. Comment when you, you know you're working, you know you're busy, but make sure you comment because hey, if Pop leaves, y'all finish. Finish. Y'all finished. I mean, this, Sorry. he's a hell of a coach, man. Yes, he is. And plus, Pop, you know, Pop, Pop, you know what? I'm going to tell you who the coldest coach is, man. Don Nelson. If y'all ever watched uh, HBO Sports and stuff like that, they, they've done uh, different interviews and different stuff with him, man. You know, he's GM with Dallas. Mm-hmm. Man, he lives in Hawaii. He smokes that good herb. <laughs> he don't care, dog. I mean, he's on his whole different level. Right. Nelly was a beast when he was at Golden State. He done been everywhere. Right. Dallas coach. I mean, he's dude. He's so laid back, man. Dude, don't. Care. So I'm, what I'm saying is, like, for the coaches like that that really can coach and do what they can do. Hey, why not? 
Uh, I would change too. I would too. But I swear to God, hey, I hate to say that, but look, if he leaves San Antonio, that's y'all. Yeah, y'all going back done. to. Y'all going back to the, the, the stars. I give y'all a chance, though. Uh, y'all got Tim Duncan be the next head coach. Is he going to speak? Is he going to write down shit on a poster? Does a dude, has anybody heard him speak? I mean, shit. He's quiet storm. He's a quiet storm I, I before the quiet storm, <laughs> dude, baby. Right, dude. You know he'll do those speak. I know. Even, <laughs> hey, dude got, I'm trying to give him dude hope. Got, dude got braids and dreads. Don't even look. Come on, dog. I'm trying to give you hope, brother. Timmy. I'm trying to give you hope. Hey, I had a question. Who's the best part forever? I didn't put your name down on purpose, and I can tell you why I didn't put up two reasons. Well, actually, one big reason was this. You walked, I think it was in 95 or 98, 98, mm -hmm. in the NCAA tournament when you played against Louisville. Y'all was only up by like one or two or some shit. We was up. You walked, got an and one, and y'all beat us when you was at Wake Forest. So, there it is. You're a bad boy. You're a bad boy, but I ain't giving you shit. I remember you walk Because, hey, we was going to beat y'all. We should have beat y'all. Yeah, go ahead, bro. You see how personal he just got? Sure did. That's we get personal on this show. Jesus yeah. Christ. Hell yeah. And plus, he done went back to everybody he, said he's Tim. He's still mad. Everybody <laughs> was saying Tim. And Tim is bad. Yeah, but everybody I got, said you know, Tim's you know, so me. I said Kevin Gordon. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, whatever. But I ain't giving them props. Go on somewhere, my pet. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit this college real quick, uh, man. You got a couple of. Let's hit this real uh, quick. Go ahead. You got a couple of big star players too, shit. Uh, from LSU, right, bro? Yes, sir. LSU and Georgia's uh, transfer who just got there, right? Yeah, fifth it's year. It's all opting out and not playing this years. year because they're concerned about the coronavirus situation. Ooh, but yeah. the crazy thing about it, like I was telling him, you got all these conferences who said they're not playing. Then you got all these other ones who said they're playing, but the ones who said they're playing now their star players is opting out. Look, bro, get man, hey, he got breaking news. He caught me on that one with uh, Newman. But uh, first of all, LSU, yeah, they they've been dropping like flies, and I yes, think a lot, and I think a lot of that shit really is truly is they know they ain't gonna win it. I mean, granted, they number three <laughs> for real. Yeah. Granted, they number three. Uh, 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 conferences rolling with it with the right. other small conferences, whatever. But, hey, and I'm calling Joey Brackets, but Joey Burrow, man, hey, he's gone. That, ain't, that offense is not going to look the same. So, a lot of these cats on defense offense have dropped out. And, and then Orgeron said it today that basically it's going to be, he think, two more. Mm -hmm. So, it's a joke. But they got, they, they deep as hell, but they're going to get their doors blown off. Busted. But also, check this out. When that Georgia, that Georgia quarterback he's talking about, Man, I feel, you know what? I feel sorry for Georgia <laughs> for the simple fact of this. Guys, hey, y'all know what's going on. We, you know, we U of L Central. He, he's a quarterback to play for Wake Forest. The one that little old monkey uh, 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 offense that they look hiking, they creep to the line, and then they do plays. Dude had a cannon, though. He's a big boy. He's like 6'6, six, 6'5. Six, six, right. I mean, he's solid. Dude was going to start. Like, the season starts like next week. He was going to start unless something comes out and they said we weren't going to start him. Then we can see why he out there. Or even like he might have some kind of ailment or disease that we don't know and right, he don't want right. a chance. Want chance. But for you to wait till a week before the season starts, shame yeah. on you, partner. Yes, you, you, hey, man, you missed, like, you should have missed Brown. I have no, don't get me wrong, guys. We we talk about this all. We talk about the high school little league, mm -hmm. college, you know, pros, all this. I have no problem nobody opting out because it, hey, it's a only personal thing. What you want to do? But you, dog, you gonna wait, dog? You should already not opt out. And first of all, you shouldn't even left. Wait, sure, no graduated. Left. Put your name in the draft. Whatever you had to do. Now you don't get them on but they 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 messed up because they yes. had you pencil you in, man. Yes, they did. It's your hey, it's, it's up to you. But yeah, you yeah, you did a kind of shady right there. I'm, I'm trying to see. If he really won the job. That too. That's what I want to look into. Like you said, dude, 
he knows something that we yeah, don't know. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because because Corona been here since March, and actually been yes, here since last year, last early year, last year. Because yeah, yeah. and we all don't work with people who coughed up a lung and, and they sounded real bad, and, and, and everybody said they had something else, right? Or whatever the hell. I mean, people, you know, we've been sick, uh, and they didn't have a name for different things. So my thing is, is like, damn, dog, you knew Corona been here, man. Been here. You waited to. September. You transfer to go to a whole other school to get that starting job and then say I ain't playing. Maybe the bag didn't come. Scratch! NFL. <laughs> oh my God. That's my brother. Y'all know how he is. Really? Jesus Maybe they didn't come. Camelra <laughs> with the practice today. He's back. Sean Payton said that they got him pistol in for the first week oh, of they play stuff, but you know how that is. He might be gone. Think he gone? How you playing? He may not be gone. Come on, now he's been a leaf only speaking two of years. That, speaking right? of that, speaking of that, speaking of that, I've read something today because you brought it up yesterday. Heal, the backup quarterback who played quarterback, Thank tight you. end. Everybody uh, who gets who, sixteen. Wait million. a minute. Who was supposed to be better than Teddy? And and, oh, and, and, and Peyton said that basically he was a Lamar Jackson. Look on here. Yeah. Look, He's much? getting Thank sixteen you. this year. Thank you. And Camelra's getting two point one. Thank you. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And that's because he's on his rookie contract. Still on it. He's on the, and have no problem like. Cause they be signing like four with an option five for, right. for the team, and that's cool. And 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 and, and thing about it is the reason why the um, the uh, the running backs do it because first of all the the, the their life expectancy on football field is like seven years, five to seven, five mm-hmm. to seven. If you're very for, fortunate, five to seven. So that's why you have a lot of these football players trying their best to get paid early. I mean, running backs to get paid early because. They get rid of them. It's over with. And then they get pound the ball. So, but you have a backup quarterback, a uh, 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 kick holder, a uh, punt holder, whatever the hell mm-hmm. he does, 18 mil. Yes, and you know damn much. well, he, if, if if Drew Brees leaves. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. You, and then for you to compare him to Lamar Jackson, stop it. Yeah, y'all got to put, oh, Lord Jesus. Stop it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, come on, dude. You ought to be that's shining yourself, nice. Sean, for even saying that. What you should have did is pony up and pay uh, uh, Teddy $20 yep. million to, this is so for bench. five years because Drew only got one. Hell, y'all tried to, to get him up out there after he opened his mouth. Yeah, y'all did. Y'all tried to get him, too. Y'all yep. said he went back and said, oh, 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 I got young boys. <laughs> I got yeah. young sons. Yeah, I, I need, we need to eat. We need to eat some more. So, yeah, that's my thing. Like, uh, that's bullshit. Y'all need to pay Kamara because, hey, if you don't, another team will. Because he, no, hey, I don't give a shit. He's, he's cold. He's cold. Fournette got two teams interested in him. Ooh, wee, who are they? Tampa Bay. Ooh, 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 New ooh, ooh. England. Oh, oh, Tommy. Tommy hmm. Brady's ex and current team. And like you told me. Stay in Florida, brother. I would. I mean, for <laughs> real, because you got to think. Like you said yesterday, man, uh, New England got like about six running backs. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, they do. They'll cut them over in a minute. Yes, they will. But they got so many, you know what I'm saying? They got so many. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. They got so many. So, you basically, you're, he basically going to have a tryout every week. Yes, basically. That's the whole thing. Every week, this cat's going to have a tryout. New England's so I, not the best place. No, 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 no. Don't even do that. Y'all see me shining behind me, dog? I'm just look at that shit. Da, da, da. You know what that is, guys? For all you got, hey, would be shining. They're like, what is that? What is that? I <laughs> said, you a man, fuck the third. But yeah. But anyway, dog, he's going to be having them trying out, him trying out. He don't need to go there because Belichick, Belichick plays mind games. They'll cut you and then they bring you back and do all kinds of shit. And then you got to think. TB ain't there, all that kind. Of, I mean, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong, Cam, but which Cam we gonna get though? We don't know. I mean, I, I, I think, think he gonna. Have, I think he might be solid, but can he run it offense? 
Because they don't want him unless they switch. They unless they got the same unless Mc Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. It ain't like McDaniel unless unless he switches up. Kind of like how like no Baltimore choice. did. But you know they stubborn, dog. They, they stubborn. They, they no. have six rings. We're not gonna say right? they. We're gonna say Belichick. Well, we Belichick say Dane because he Belichick he's, runs he's, everything. Yeah. Hey, I mean, yeah, he controls it. But I'm saying like they is period like I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, because yeah. it ain't gonna make no difference because that too. He, I won six things. I got six rings. I don't give a shit. So you are gonna do this? And you best believe you know they get you get you know you got Cam who was vulnerable, dude. It's like he didn't have a team. No. So yeah, yes sir, yes coach, I'll do. That too. Damn, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A broken soul, man. When somebody's been cut like like yeah. Fournette, I mean, dude, you went, man, you got cut. You got waivers. No one took your ass. Dude, you only Nobody been in the league three, took. four years, and they just like, no. That's because he knew. I mean, I ain't gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Good. I'm not gonna say that. We gonna be there because <laughs> I was getting ready to say because all of other teams knew he wasn't gonna start for their team. But I can name oh, yes, teams sir. right now that he yes, can start sir. for. Yes, sir. That he can start for right now. Yes, sir. But I think teams that won't take a chance on him being, I wouldn't say he's injury prone, but that arm. Yes, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That throwing arm. You know, you're a quarterback. Yeah. What's that arm look like? I yeah. guess New England saw something that was like. But I also, but really also, good. you know, when he, when he came to the stage, looking like Mary Poppins. Uh, Alice from uh, Mel's. Uh, you remember when he had a damn scarf wrapped up? You remember that dog? Mm. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. See, because the thing about it is, mm. no matter how we look at it, I don't give a shit what color you are, white, black, Asian, whatever. It don't matter. When you're the quarterback, that's a whole different shit right there. Baby. Ball game, dude. You can't be coming out there looking like Mary Poppins and shit. You got scarves on it. No, no. He should have came out with a body. Had the old big. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Then you talking about you ain't having sex we, uh, throughout three, six <laughs> months <laughs> so you get your mind Stop right. Stop like, why are you talking like that, dog? <laughs> He's a no, lot. You, He's crazy, no, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, we're just saying why yeah, nobody yeah, messes with yeah, him, dog. Crazy. I mean, for real, dog. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> nobody wants to do that. Dude came out looking like a uh, ranger and shit, forest ranger. Right. And Bo Winkle right next to him and shit. Nah, come on, dog. You can't do that, dog. Really? Man. Hey, hey. You were doing shit. Like, you can get away with that in the NBA. Ah, most NFL, definitely. NFL, you cannot most do that. Most definitely. NFL. And that's why. He's trying to be the uh, Westbrook of the NFL. He tried. And they said, I right, now, hold on. We got something for you. <laughs> you gonna sit here and go where? What? what? How much are you getting for uh, New England? Uh, he got uh, a low ball deal to where it's like it's on the team, he got to get like a, it's a sense right? of over yeah. as the year it goes. Oh, Lord. So he really ain't making, I mean, he got money, but he, he ain't got making that Ricky no money. Williams either. contract. Yeah, he ain't making no money in New England. Oh, gee. So basically, you got to be on your best behavior. Basically. You have to ball. Yes. You have to throw, and then you can go and leave, go whatever you, and then, you know what I'm saying? You got to show you. You got to give me a certain amount of touchdowns. Hey, 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 for real. No bonus this year, man. None of that shit, dog. No head scarves, none of that, dude. Uh, when you did that, dog, for real, dog. Stop, stop. Mm. I mean, please. I mean, because we, mm. hey, we, we love some cam, but we cheering you on as much as we can because Damn. we got our own teams. We ain't worried about you like that. No. But as a person and stuff, we don't like to see, man, no way, dude. You get on the pay, but hey, clean your shit up, partner. Please. Goodness gracious. You got some, brother. Let me see. Let me see what I got. Oh, yeah, the Chargers is naming uh, Taiwan oh. Taylor the starting quarterback. If y'all didn't know that already. Who? Did we talk about Taylor? Oh, we, we, did we talk about him Friday? He's the starting quarterback of week one. But we Friday, right? Mm -hmm. But who else is out there? Who's, it's Hibbert, Hibbert, whatever. Mm -hmm. The dude from Oregon, the 6'6. Six, six, uh, yeah. Got another one. She, uh, the Washington football team, I guess is what they call itself. Has name Hopkins, their starting quarterback. Your boy. Your boy. They started thirds as week one, so this NFL season. I, I wish we would play. I wish we would play him. Good lord, because that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be a several picks waiting for somebody. Hey, Washington in your division? 
Yeah, but I'm talking about week one. Let's get let's go. Well, let's <laughs> and hey, I know a couple of you Redskins fans. Y'all always like in my inboxes and all kinds of shit. Man, y'all suck. God. They suck. Hey, man, for real. Dude, they don't suck. I got nothing to do with that. No, no, no. I got nothing to do with that. Bro. But you know football. Uh, do they suck? I'm not good at Ah, uh, you just sit down. Come on, man. You do that nugget out on purpose, man. You ain't slick. <laughs> You ain't slick. You do that bullshit out on purpose. That dude, hey, they suck. For real. They really suck. Hey, what about this? 76ers, man. When is it like, my thing, like, they, of course, they're looking for a uh, coach. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they talking about uh, Villanova coach uh, Wright. He's talking about he's not interested. When are we going to stop throwing these coaches up here? Like, you know, hey, and don't get me wrong. Because they said a kid wanted it. But I'm saying, like, they always want to dip down and talk about like a college the coach. College, and all this. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. not everybody wants to go to the NBA. And don't get me wrong, work most out. coaches they want to be the like the to win a championship at the highest level is the NBA. We know that, mm-hmm. but how I many of them fall on their face, man? You know what I'm saying? Look at Ricky P. And we got something special for y'all guys tomorrow. But look at Ricky P. Man, yeah, shit, Dude, it was didn't work out. Calipari, Calipari, look. Do you think, hey, man, hey, granted he got all this connection to UK mm-hmm. and all this kind of stuff, he ain't been back. No. I mean, let's put it this way. If if he don't go, go to, who was it? Who got uh, West? Was that the, the Knicks? Worldwide West? Yeah, Where yeah, 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 yeah. Like, if he doesn't, like, make his way there in the next couple of years, he ain't never going back pro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He ain't do shit at the pros anyway. Like, they want to go in so bad, like, what we see with Brad Stevens is like, and Billy Donovan is like, you don't see that. Not you everybody not can do that, that dude, no. because they relate to the players. Especially it's a players Donovan. league. It's Especially not the coach. Donovan. Especially with Donovan. Yeah, what he, that, what he did. He, that's why we salute him every time we get a chance. You know what I'm saying? And he already won two championships in Florida. He could have stayed up in the King and all that kind of shit. Just chilling. Dog. Hey. <laughs> you know what? But, hey, I, you got to salute them because not, it's not for everybody. So, like, Bill no right. Man, man, ain't nobody. Dude, that, what he going to do up in the league? That, too. He was the king of small ball. And then, to piggyback off you real quick, that's why Nick Saban is still in college. Thank you. <laughs> and he went up for her and tried to see because the thing about college is about the coaches. Exactly. Because these players don't get paid. We all we ain't stupid. Right, right. That. But NBA or uh, college I mean NFL, that mm-hmm. ain't about that dog. Nope. It's about the players and the owners. Mm-hmm. Not you, partner. You might get paid, but then they fire you and hop in there. You know how many here. people you know how many coaches got fired in the bubble and could not go back with their team? They had to go uh, value jack. Out of here. No, no. Another example, uh, who is it? Who is it? Who, who just lost? Uh, yeah, Utah's coach. He's fired. Did they fire him today? He might be fired tomorrow. He ain't fired today, but he's out of there. Oh, no, they they kind of they kind of they kind of funny him, but Utah though. He fired. They kind of funny though. I don't know. If he, I, he fired. He, I think he should be. No, I'm with you. <laughs> but <laughs> hey, fired. if they keep him, so I would not be surprised. Here. That too. I would not that be too. surprised. That too. I mean, I feel I you what you're saying, but I agree with that. Gee, they, uh, are, they are they on a whole different level there, that. And, and, and I agree with that. You know, they just happy. They happy. <laughs> they happy for look, Queen. Look, He's Dookie. Donovan. Donovan. Look, look. We got because, Donovan. Because I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> if I'm if I'm Queen and I'm you know his age, hey man, Donovan's on the stand because he likes Queen. I mean, really. Yep. Even if that's not true, yep. you know, I spend it so many ways. Hey, yeah, y'all gonna yeah, y'all gonna take care of me on this for sure. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. All right, let's let's get into some stuff. Let's see, let's see what we can do today, guys. I want to appreciate everybody. Y'all tell everybody that I appreciate. We done had several top fans uh, to join this week. You know, what yes, I'm saying? that's dope. You know, basically, you know, we already had Chris and Tanisha, Nick Golf. Dion, appreciate it. Please, guys. What it basically what that is is that these guys, these people are interacting with our pages. Yeah, they're commenting, they're liking stuff, they sharing stuff. Um, that's all you gotta do. Just interact and and and, and let's let's talk about some stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. And actually, 
we can open it up that you know if y'all got some things y'all want us to talk about let, let us know. know you know what i'm saying hey, we'll talk about anything let so us know. Ain't, no, ain't no problem with that i hope y'all get ready because you got we got college football we got several college football games tomorrow you know what i'm saying so uh we already know nfl's the following that. week college football's the following week we really gonna be hitting things Continue, guys. Continue to support us. Subscribe. Hey, that's what it's all about. Yes, sir. So, so let's go on and get into some U of L centric stuff. Uh, today, Ooh, you gotta do your thing, bro. Well, you know we ain't got the blue tape. Don't forget that. Don't matter. Boo, 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 boo. Let's hit them with it. You know what I'm saying? So. I think, you know, U of L fans are very diverse. So, what first. You, what you going to hit them with, dog? The first one I got for you guys. Who you going to Who is with? the best? Who do you think is the best baseball player to ever come out of the University of Louisville? Now, you're going to see where y'all at. Some of y'all may not. Come on now. It, and, and thing about it is we don't have several good ones, especially because, uh, McDonald has been rolling. So you guys who like, really don't follow, I mean, you had to follow some of this stuff just because they have been in the limelight recently. I mean, he's mm -hmm. been doing his thing. So that's one. Oh, can I hit him with one real go quick? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me hit him with one real quick. Who is the best Louisville player that has been to the NBA from 2005 from now? They gonna knock that. Y'all gonna knock that down. They gonna knock that down because uh, I hate to say it, you ever had, haven't had that many. Uh huh. I hate, I hate to be real. So, so basically, is? basically he's throwing you guys and back it up from two thousand three on. Okay, two thousand three. Okay, Because cool. Basically, okay. he's he's hitting okay. y'all guys. You know what I'm saying? And I can name the names right now. I'm not gonna do that because this is for you guys. Mm hmm. It's kind of a home run. So be, believe me, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of a home yeah. run for you guys. See, you know, he he bought a day for you guys to go ahead and knock that out. Please knock it out. You better. It's kind of <laughs> simple. Go to the kinda, Facebook page. Kind of simple. I got go one to more, the Facebook one more page. Thing. What you got, brother? Let's go. On, you know, we always try to do stuff. So let's do. Let's do, yesterday I did basketball. Yeah. So football. Let's do this. All righty. If you had to rank UFL football coaches, give me your top three of all times. Now, we already know what some of y'all are going to say because of uh, landmark things, but really deep, deep in this, deep, deep, get in there. Who is your top three University of Louisville football coaches of all time? And I got a bonus for you. You want a bonus one? I got a bonus one. You want to give him a bonus? Give me your top three worst U of L football coaches. Because we all know one off the dribble. Two off the dribble. Hey, two Chris, off the dribble. Chris. You know And y'all feel like that. You know it too. We always say Chris all the time. But Chris be really in the comments on the Facebook page. Oh. I mean, on the YouTube page. YouTube. And we really want y'all to reenact on that, too, to let us know what y'all talking about, too. But Chris is always in them comments. Chris, I know you're going to go a home run with this one. Oh, it's easy He's for you, great act. He's it's great act and, 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 and like little boy said, look, check this out. Comment, hey, we want you to comment on YouTube, Please, comment YouTube, on our Facebook, Twitter, do everything. But on Instagram. YouTube, if y'all have not checked it out, and we definitely want y'all to watch our YouTube, like it, but subscribe. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what, definitely subscribe. Yes. Check this out though. If you have time, and Chris normally is probably done um, commenting 